pretty comprehensive there, Simon. What was the most pleasing aspect for you, I guess, of the first quarter? Uh, yeah, there were a number of things. Clearly, I thought we defended incredibly well. Um, that was the first thing, you know, to have 50 marks taken against you in the first quarter and only concede a point and score on the back of that, that was certainly pleasing. And I thought our stoppage work, our inside mids got to work and um, certainly gave us great use and we actually used that as a great scoring avenue and, you know, with that came some connection inside 50. So there was a lot to like in the game yeah. from our perspective. Um, so, yeah, it was, a, it was a pleasing performance, one that just continued on from last week in terms of the way that we went about it. And, you know, there were some efforts late in the game, I think, which typifies, you know, the mindset of the group. You know, obviously, Petrarca's effort late inside D50, um, you know, was certainly one of those. You mentioned the, the, the stoppage work. I think, I think Viney, Petrarca and Oliver had 19 clearances between them and Hawthorne had a total of 22. Is it sort of kind of that, that sort of thing that you're happy about? Yeah, look, yeah, obviously they had some plans in and around, you know, tagging Clayton, but I thought as a collective group, we got to work and um, we were prepared to get our hands dirty on the inside and we were pretty clean to get the ball to the outside and that gave us, gave us some great opportunity to score on the back of that. So, um, you know, it was an area of our game that was really strong today and, and we spread the load. You know, we, it wasn't one player. You know, I thought Tommy Sparrow came in and did a great job there as well. I guess... Obviously, the, 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 the worrying news is your two key pillars down back, Stephen and Jake. What's the latest on them? Yeah, so Steve's gone off for some scans to check on these ribs. Um, I suspect it's probably a broken rib there. Um, and Jake's going to have to have a scan on that knee. Um, we're pretty hopeful that'll be OK. Um, we just have to wait and see on the back of the scan. But clearly, Maisie, we've just got to get check, checked off completely to find out what's going on with his ribs there. So. We'll report back as soon as we know. But you know, when you lose two key pillars, you know, pretty early in the second half, or one before half time and one after, you know, I thought Harrison Petty and Tom McDonald and Marty Hoare did a great job down back for us. If they are both missing, you content with those two playing that role there. You've got JVR and Fritz who came up front like Just taking a breath from this one. Um, yeah, we've got guys that can play those roles. Clearly Harrison's done it previously. Um, you know, we've got some other guys, Adam Tomlinson, who will play tomorrow in the, in the VFL. So we've got some options in that space, uh, which is pleasing. So we'll assess that during the week. Timely return for Petty then, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah, he's a good player. Um, and that's why we love Harrison. You know, he's, uh, he's got a great aerial player, um, you know, both forward and back. And clearly gives us an enormous target when he's forward to centre. Um, but then, as we saw today, when we have some problems behind the ball with personnel, he can certainly go back there and, and certainly keep things nice and steady for us. You mentioned Oliver before. Has your opinion on McGuinness changed from last year? Is it someone that doesn't go for the ball? Oh, look, I probably got that wrong last year and it came out the wrong way. And, you know, it's for me, it's, it was a lesson for me, really. It certainly didn't mean it the way it came out. You know, he's a, he's a good player. Um, but what I was trying to say was to, um, you know, use the tag to open up space, whether it be at stoppage or whether it be with that ball movement. And the last time we, we played against the Hawks, we were able to do that on the back of that tag and um, again today. So, um, you know, I probably got that wrong. He's a, he's, a, he's a good player that did a good job. Can you run us through what you were trying to do with Jake Lever in the second half, trying to get him back on? Because he made quite a few attempts to get back on, but just couldn't. I mean, was there, did you, did you get to the bottom as to sort of medical stuff and aim? In terms of getting him back on, yeah, yeah. to get him back on, <laughs> it's pretty simple. Um, you know, do all the testing, um, see if he can um, be in a position to, to play on. Um, clearly, he was just a bit unsure, um, and the medical team made a decision that it wasn't worth, you know, putting him back out there. So the decision was made to, to sit him and and move on with the game. Was that at all a surprise with what they tried to do? You know, they tried to do something a bit different start of the game, was that at all a surprise or, you know, there's no surprise that they'll do with Clayton, but just the way they were trying to play, to keep his off and amass the uncontested marks and try to work through your zone, that way? Yeah, look, I think if you've probably watched the last few games that we've played against Hawthorne, it's probably been a trend, especially early in the game where they've tried to, to certainly take a lot of uncontested marks and, you know, we're really comfortable with that you know, based on impact on the scoreboard. Mm. You know, it's one of those things you assess from a scoreboard impact perspective. So, um, you know, sometimes teams take what the defence gives them. Um, today they, they tried something. 
Um, but we were really strong in the way we defended. And um, you know, I was wrapped with the players. We, we defended to a really, really high level today. Mm. And there's obviously been that, all that talk about connection. The connection at times today was exactly what you would have wanted, I imagine, going forward. Yeah, look, I hope our supporters and everyone can start to see that some of the work that we've been doing, but obviously Greg Stafford with our forwards has done a great job and um, you know, Andrew McGualter with the midfielder doing a great job in terms of building that chemistry between our mids and our guys forward to centre and I think we're starting to see that play out. Um, as I said, we'll have weeks where it, it doesn't work, um, like every team. So it's a work in progress for us, it's on the right path and you know, today was a highlight. You almost got 100 again and Bailey, you know, I'm one of the best defenders in the competition, like, you know, fantastic game as well. Yeah, he did. You know, obviously Sicily was having a little bit of an impact early, but Frida stuck to his task, and um, you know we gave him a pretty big job there to try and get that match up, and then tried to make sure he hit the scoreboard. And um, you know, I know he's been a little bit frustrated with his form the last couple of weeks, but today he, he had a role to do. He performed it well, and he he bounced back incredibly strongly. And you, you, sorry, your pressure early on was. Phenomenal as well. So lots of turnovers, leads, and goals. Was that also like a real sort of focus heading into just really start the game, and make a statement type of thing as well? I think if you watch AFL footy now, it's a, it's a big part of the game. The ability to to put pressure on and to deal with pressure. And um, you know, if you keep watching the game closely, it's it's going to be a thing that stands out in AFL footy over the, over the course of the years. So uh, we'll continue to go to work in that area of the game. I thought our pressure in the last few weeks has been outstanding. Wherever the game needs him, yeah. um, you know he's very similar to a few players in the competition. But you need him in the game. He's, mm. he's certainly a, a big impact for the centre, um, you know, from an impact and score and pressure perspective. But he certainly has a really dynamic nature around stoppage. So we'll just keep working through that, what that looks like. But you know, we're really happy with where he's at at the moment. Mm. Thanks, awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank